This is where I spend most of my time here, plopped down on this piano bench playing one guitar or another into these microphones here. This is a Neumann TLM-170 and over here is a, a Mojave something or other. And then my Martin that I'm working with today, my good Martin, the D12S, is in the shop at St. Paul Guitar. We'll go over and visit them later. So first off, there's good old acoustic Martin. Here. Samples are being triggered by this pickup. These are samples that I've recorded uh, in this studio here or in traveling. Like there's a nice drone here at the bottom end. These are Tibetan longhorns I recorded in Sikkim. Along the top here. These are goblets that I that I recorded by uh, rubbing my finger around the top. Makes for a nice extended guitar. Here in front of you is the best outboard effect you can have. That is a working guitar shop where they know how to fix your guitar because if your guitar is not intonated well and doesn't work, it's not going to work, right? It's not going to sound good. Nothing else matters. What do you think, Kevin? That's correct. I concur. All right. Let's go in the back. What do you think, Michelle? I agree. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's St. Paul Guitars. It's right. And here is my favorite outboard effect, the McAllister College Concert Hall. I set up one evening here, put my recording console out here in the audience. This is thanks to the kindness of Rachel Hest, who let me in for about six hours one evening. I put a speaker up here on the stage, and then I recorded reverbs. I took my mixes and I recorded the reverberation of this gorgeous hall and folded it into the mix. And it worked out very well. As you can hear, the sound in here is just fantastic. <laughs> 